Hi, everybody. Welcome to our very first virtual open mic live with Frisco Arts. My name is Tammy Minershagen, and I did get a little dressed up for you today. I have been hair and bun and like, you know, slouching around, but uh, today is really special because um, we have gathered together. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome to our very first virtual um, open mic. Live. And we have musicians, artists, and dancers. So in a typical open mic, um, you don't actually get to have visual artists and dancers because there are actually, you know, uh, venue limitations. But when you're virtual, you can do anything. So I'm excited that uh, we have all these folks with us today. We even have like a two and a half year old violinist. And then we have professional violinists. We have men and women. We have a, just a really great variety. So um, I hope that your spirits are lifted by the arts. I know this is a really difficult time, um, especially for the arts community. There's been a lot of my own friends who've, um, you know, lost their jobs. They have lost performing opportunities. Uh, and it's just, it's tough because with social distancing, we don't even get to like see each other. And when I'm watching a virtual performance, you know, there's no clapping, there's no interaction. It feels, uh, it just feels very disconnected. Uh, but with the arts, it's something that does bring us all together. So. Um, it is Arts Advocacy Day today. I don't know if you knew that, but happy Arts Advocacy Day. Uh, I was supposed to be in Washington today, but um, but it got canceled, and and uh, now we have to do it totally differently in the arts world. But you know, there's great opportunities for uh, what's to come, even within the midst of the struggle. So I wanted to start with a little bit um, of inspiration. I saw a quote uh, recently by George Bernard Shaw. I wanted to share that with you because I think it really speaks to the power of the arts. And it says, without art, the crudeness of reality would make the world unbearable. You wanna throw that up there, Anthony? All right, perfect. Um, and I think, you know, it's very, very true. It wasn't written in our time, but it's um, totally applicable for our time right now that uh, we need the arts, uh, we need, food and, and water and shelter, but we also need to feed our souls. So it's it's critically important that we are inserting arts into our lives. And then we also have another quote that I found that I just loved and I put that out there on our social media today. And it's, if you think artists are useless, try to spend your quarantine without books or without music, books, poems, movies, paintings, and games. Can I get an amen, right? I mean, that's, can you even imagine what it would be like not to have the arts in your life right now? I mean, we are all engaged in it because we need it. So um, so thank you to all of our artists and performers that are with us tonight. And thanks to everybody in the creative arts community that um, gives your heart to the world. Uh, we're gonna get to see a little bit of that uh, as well tonight. So um, when you go to our uh, website at friscoarts.org, uh, we have a new resource on there for COVID-19 um, resources, basically for any financial resources, as well as ideas of what to do during this time. So it's for individual artists, arts organizations, and for arts lovers. So just go to friskarts.org. And if you have another event or something that you want to um, share with everybody, just email me. You can email me at Tammy at friskarts.org. Okay, well, we're going to kick off. Oh. I have to thank our producer of the show, Anthony Barocas, um, from stream4. Dot, is that right? Stream4.us. Um, if you're looking to live stream an event and you like what you're seeing here, please contact Anthony. He can do it for you. Um, and if you have any issues to your Facebook feed tonight, don't worry about it. We will be recording the show and it will go on our YouTube channel, on our Frisco Arts YouTube channel. Okay, so now we're gonna get started first with a video that um, was sent to us by the president of the Visual Arts Guild of Frisco. Her name is Lena Rincon. And Lena has a special message to share with us. I support the arts because art is very important for me. Art brings me a sense of hope, a sense of happiness, and a sense of love. It gives me the opportunity to connect with everyone around the world. As we look at my solitary picture, it's a single rose. And roses mean love. Each flower is different, and this represents us as a community. Art gives us chance to connect with everyone, no matter our background, 
we can all bloom together as a community. And that is why I support the art. All right, thank you so much, Lena, for that video and for your message and for your art as well. Uh, and, you know, please go visit the Visual Arts Guild of Frisco and their website. We have some incredible artists um, in Frisco that, that need your support. So um, check them out. Well, we're gonna get started with our program tonight. And our very first performer is Erin Bogart. Erin is a wife, a mom, an insurance agent, musician, workout enthusiast, cat lover, and a foodie. She's a vocal teacher at Dream Music Academy. And Erin says that the ability to express and communicate through sound or visual art is so simple, yet utterly profound. Above all, the creation or enjoyment of these expressions are available and inherent to everyone. So welcome, Erin. Thank Trying you, Jamie. Hi, everybody. Hey, okay, so how have you been holding up? Decent. <laughs> I'm an extreme extrovert, so this is outside of my comfort zone, I must admit. Yeah. The first week, it was nice to have a little bit of downtime, but mm -hmm. at this point, <laughs> I think we're all ready for an actual, like, human interaction. We miss our happy hours. We miss our networking and seeing our friends and family. Um, but we've got wonderful experiences like this to still, you know, unite all of us. So we're very grateful. Yes. Well, um, I, I'm extroverted as well. So yeah, this is very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to have you on the show though. Give, sending you a virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you going to be singing for us tonight? So I'm going to sing um, You Somebody by Kings of Leon. It's actually from Oh, it's old school, 2008. Yeah, yeah, but we could definitely use somebody. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of lines in the song that, that kind of tie to kind of our current events. Um, I just know that there's a lot of different people out there um, that are in industries that they're not getting downtime. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they really do need support. They need assistance. They need to know that we're with them emotionally and spiritually. Um, so yeah, my heart goes out to everyone that is going through difficult times during this, um, you know, crisis that we're in essentially. Um, so really this song is really dedicated to the men and women that are working very, very long hours. And when we all go back to normal, you know, are, are they gonna get some time off while, <laughs> while we go back to work? Maybe, maybe not. Um, so really that's why I selected this song. Awesome, well, thank you so much and I can't wait to hear it. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if I can gear it up. Erin, I'm going to say scoot back just a smidge so that your head isn't cut off in the video shot. All righty. Oh, 
got some technical difficulties. <laughs> we might as well get it out of the way on the first act, right? <laughs> That's okay. Well, that was amazing. <laughs> give me 30 seconds. Give me 15 seconds. Okay. If not, we're going acapella, Tammy. All right, that's okay. I mean, that's this. <laughs> hey, can you make sure this is plugged into the wall, please? 15 seconds, guys. <laughs> I did 20 run throughs and this didn't happen not one of the time, but y'all know how that is. This is, this is the reality of virtual performing. <laughs> the, the message though is so, it's so poignant. Now I might get the first verse again. Is that okay? Okay. job amazing amazing thank you so much Erin thank you guys thank you. that was a beautiful voice thank you thank you well um we're gonna go to our next performer I hope that inspired you just oh that was perfect for me <laughs> next guest 
Uh, we're in for a treat because it's a whole family thing. Um, Dinah Staggs is a violinist, uh, and she is a Suzuki violin teacher from the North Texas School of Talent Education. And she's going to be joining us with her sons, Rokas, who is eight years old at Smith Elementary, uh, and Kitas, who will turn two and a half next month. Um, Anthony, I think you have Letitia on right now. It should be a Dinah and her sons. They're over there by the artwork. Um, they're waving at you. <laughs> the, the ones with the two little boys. Uh, special place in my heart for Suzuki violin. That's how I started too. Um, so uh, what, yeah, her two sons are going to perform with her. And then behind her, is the artwork um, from their dad, Jeremiah. Hey, Jeremiah, who's another amazingly talented. Oh. Um, so thank you so much um, for all being part of this today. <laughs> You're welcome. And Dinah, I know you are teaching your lessons now through um, Zoom, right? So you're an yeah, expert. Primarily, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay, well, I'll have you guys get started. All right, ready? We're going to play now. It's our turn. Okay, okay rest position. Here, stand up. Your yes, are resting feet. Okay. Good job. Should we start with a bow? Here we get you ready. Okay, ready? Here we go. And one. Oh, good job. Okay, <laughs> yep. Hand on your violin and get ready. So this is a little song called the E string song. <laughs> education for kids is so critical. Um, so I just appreciate you investing not only in your kids, but everyone um, that you're teaching. So thank you so much, Dinah. All right, we're gonna go on to our next performer who, and I just love the, the unique range that we're in, um, that we can go from two and a half year old little violinist to Eduardo Rojas, <laughs> a professional pianist who has been hailed by the Dallas Morning News as clearly a pianist with considerable skill and force of personality. Eduardo has appeared as a soloist with orchestras throughout North and South America and Asia. Um, Eduardo founded the Rojas School of Music in 2014. Eduardo believes that music should be an essential part of everyone's life. 
Uh, through the arts, we witness the history of humankind and build communities in peace through free expression and creativity. Anthony Eduardo is over here. He's waving at you. He's got his Eduardo Rojas uh, School of Music. There we go. Hi, Hello. Marco. Hello, Tommy. Hello, everyone. Thank yeah. you for your invitation. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. And um, right now we're in your home studio, right? Yes. Well, no, this is my home home. Your home home. <laughs> Uh, the school facility is in Grapevine. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Kind of five minutes from my home. Actually. Okay, okay. Well, and I've been watching you on Facebook too. You've been putting out just some great videos of just playing on your piano and sharing it with oh, us. So yeah, yeah well, yeah, we need to keep doing this, no? I mean, it's... It's, 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 it's uplifting for sure. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so what are you going to play for us today? Well, uh, there is a composer that... Uh, we as pianists, we love, uh, we, um, it, it is called, or it is named like the romantic of all of the pianists, which is Frédéric Chopin. So, Chopin! Yeah, <laughs> I've been playing Chopin since, you know, like 10, 10, 11 years old, and it's, it is one of my favorite pieces of Chopin, which uh, is the fantasy impromptu. Love it, one of my favorites. Thank you. 
is one of my favorite pieces of all time for piano and I my, my mom would always be like let's hear it again let's hear it again <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so good for the soul yeah, it so, is. yes it is. thank you and his music is so personal and so touching you know for for everyone so I remember growing up in Colombia when I started to play a lot of recitals I, I was the National Prize of Colombia when I was 15 years old. So, you know, I, I had a, a lots of concerts and these pieces, I think I, I played it like thousands of times. People in Colombia love this piece. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, it has everything. It's got the drama and, you yeah. know, the passion at the beginning, but then it, it goes into that beautiful section that it, <laughs> tears yeah. your heart out. It's yeah, very- yeah, it's like, it's like go through a lot of emotions in five minutes. <laughs> that, that's right, that's right. And, and I mean, honestly, isn't that what we're going through right now? Like we're dealing with grief of things being over that we didn't expect. And then some good things are happening too, but then we're sad, but we're joyful. I mean, there's, it was just so perfect for the time. So thank you. Yeah, it is perfect. And you know, overall, even though this situation is very hard for everyone, I think it is time to, reflect a little bit more in, in what we are as a, uh, a society too. And maybe after this, we will become better, even better. No? And, yeah, that's very true. And more connected, hopefully. Um, and more connected. But thank you for doing this. And anytime I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, thank you again. Um, and I hope to hear you again soon. Oh, so. Of course, yeah. Thank All you. All right. Uh, Thanks, Eduardo. That was amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, we're gonna shift gears now with our next performer. Um, her name is Mia Tremel. Mia is a sophomore at Liberty High School and a music theater enthusiast. She, uh, her favorite musicals as of right now are Anastasia and Waitress. Um, she's been with the acting studio in Frisco since 2012, but has been doing theater since 2011. Um, she's currently cast as Audrey in the Little Shop of Horrors at NTPA that has been moved back because of COVID-19. So we're really rooting for the performance to keep going and happen. Right, Mia? <laughs> All right. Mia is the one right there. She looks like she's got spotlights on her. Yes. Hi. Thank you. So Hello. Much. Um, and I know you've got rehearsal for Little Shop of Horrors virtual rehearsal right now. So appreciate you being here. <laughs> Um, so, Mia, um, what are you going to be singing for us tonight? So, today I will be singing In My Dreams from Anastasia. As you mentioned, it's my favorite show. Yeah. And especially and in something like this, I'm very honored to be invited here, and I thought I'd do my favorites. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I'm going to try not to cry, so thank <laughs> you. <laughs> They said I was found by the side of a road. There were tracks all around. It had recently snowed in the 
the darkness and cold with the wind and trees a girl with no name and no memories but these rain against a window sheets upon a bed terrifying nurses whispering overhead call the child anya give the child a hat I don't know a thing before that. Traveling the back roads, sleeping in the wood, taking what I needed, working what I could, keeping up my courage, foolish as it seems, at night all alone in my dreams, in my dreams. Shadows call. There's a light at the end of a hole. In my dreams, fade away. But I know it all will come back one day. I dream of a city beyond all compare. Is it Paris? Paris? A beautiful river, a bridge by a square, and I hear a voice whisper, I'll meet you right there in Paris. Paris. You don't know what it's like not to know who you are. Are, to have lived in the shadows and traveled this far. I've seen flashes of fire, heard the echo of screams, but I still have this faith in the truth of my dreams. In my dreams, it's all real, and my heart has so much to reveal. Then my dreams seem to say, don't be afraid to go on. Don't give up hope, come what may. I know it all will come back one day. Okay, I kept it together till the very end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, that message, though, is, oh, first of all, your voice, your presence. We got all these comments. You're so confident. Um, oh, just, it was so beautiful. And the, the, the message of that song, Mia, of, you know, don't give up hope. Basically, it'll come back and dream. So thank you so much for sharing your heart and your talent with us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I can't oh. tell you how much it means. Oh, it means so much to all of us. I mean, it definitely. And I'll let you go back to your rehearsal now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mia. Oh, man. That was just amazing, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Got to pull myself together. All this amazing talent, guys. It's just awesome. So um, we've got another young performer. Um, she is Emma Piper, 11-year-old attending the Dallas International School. She's always had a passion for music, but started her voice training while she lived in Montreal, Canada for two years. Now in Frisco, she has found the perfect fit with the Pink Couch Academy of Music. Go Brittany Belt, uh, who is her voice coach. Emma is also a serious martial artist being a black belt in Taekwondo. That's pretty awesome. Good for mm -hmm. you. You've got, you know, the the mean piano chops and then the actual karate chops, right? <laughs> uh, so Emma enjoys singing and listening to music to relax, and she wants to have a career as a singer. So thank you for joining us tonight, Emma. I uh, thank you. So uh, what are you going to be playing and singing for us? Um, I'm going to be playing The Middle Starting Over by Sabrina Carpenter. Okay, awesome. Well, go ahead and take it away. Thank you. Skies, paradise in 
your piano and your voice um and you know what that message do like all of us are literally in the middle of starting over <laughs> we're all trying to figure it out right now so thanks for that message tonight you're welcome thank you <laughs> all right so well we're gonna move on to our first dancer uh, uh we've got rafael leon rafael is in sixth grade and has studied with hathaway academy of ballet for four years he also enjoys drawing cooking and playing his viola He's a proud Frisco Arts Youth Ambassador. Thank you. Um, Raphael believes that the arts gives him an outlet to share his story in a creative and meaningful way. So let's pull up uh, Raphael. There you are. Hi. Hi. So it looks like your mom and dad did this huge task of removing all of your living room furniture <laughs> so that you could have a dance floor, right? Awesome. Um, so what are you performing for us tonight? Uh, I'll be performing a variation from a ballet. Okay, wonderful. And the choreography is by Hathaway Academy of Ballet. Um, and I'm just so excited. First of all, I applaud you for doing this um, because I know it's that's that's a big commitment right now that, that you have changed uh, the entire house around just for this performance. <laughs> all right, go take it away, Raphael. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think, you know, what I'm going to do is uh, when this goes on our YouTube channel, I'm going to try to do what you were doing and it'll be my workout for the day because <laughs> that did not look easy. So wonderful job. Um, and uh, do we, can we also call you Dito? I saw, I yeah. saw that people were, yes. Is that your nickname? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dito. Rafael Dito. I love it. Um, all right. So now we have next your sister. Yes. And Haley, Raphael's sister, um, she just had her 15th birthday. Oh, my gosh, look how gorgeous. Ah, and another okay. little sister. Oh. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, your quinceanera was postponed due to the coronavirus. I'm so yes. sorry about that. But um, And then you were going to perform um, this that you're going to do tonight, right? Yes, I'm going to be performing the La Liberation from Sleeping Beauty in the Prologue. Okay, now let me say a little bit more about you. So you are a freshman at Memorial High, also training with the Hathaway Academy of Ballet in the pre-professional division, and is a junior company member of the Collin County Ballet Theater. You've been a Frisco Arts Youth Advocate for the past four years and a proud Frisco Arts Youth Ambassador. Thank you. Um, Haley says she loves the arts because it imprints on the soul in a positive way. With every moment that we make art, we illuminate the world. That is such a beautiful statement. Thank you for that, especially on Art Advocacy Day. And I know you didn't get to celebrate your birthday with um, the, the friends and family that were supposed to gather, but guess what? We're gonna all celebrate you, and hopefully, you know, everyone watching can also celebrate you and your beautiful dancing and just your beautiful spirit. So um, we can't wait to see it. Go ahead. anywhere. about dance is that there's just so many moments when you're dancing that are just beautiful visual uh pieces of art too you know like if we just freeze frame you and some of your jumps and your moves and it's just gorgeous everything but your hair and then your outfit and then your moves so um, <laughs> thank you for inspiring us and you know what i was just thinking like you know we didn't get to sing happy birthday to you at your quinceanero so oh. everybody at home let's sing for Haley. Happy birthday to, to you. I know it's not your birthday today, but we're singing it from the past. <laughs> Happy birthday uh, to you. To Happy you. birthday, dear Haley. Haley. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing that with 
tonight. You are just the sweetest. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right. Well, um, can you imagine, like, you know, your big quinceanera being postponed because of the coronavirus? I mean, there's so many things that we have all had to cope with, but that has to be, a, a, I mean, that's heartbreaking. So um, she is just an inspiration that she's continuing to smile, continuing to create, and giving us inspiration. So um, our next guest is Safika Ganison. Um, she is a junior at Reedy High School. She's been playing the guitar since 11. She was recently traveling to LA a ton to record her original songs. So um, we're super excited that she's here with us tonight. Look at that, you know, you've got the lights behind you. <laughs> um, she'll, she's, her music, Satsvika Music, is already on Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Amazon, you can find her. Um, and she's gonna be singing one of her original songs uh, called Satisfied. Um, Satsvika, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Can you tell us a little bit about this song and, you know, how it came about for you to write it, the story behind it? Sure. Um, well, this song was written about, like, I mean, I'm sure everybody goes through a different journey with the kind of struggle with dealing with insecurities and kind of looking down on yourself. So I wrote this song as a way to kind of help myself go through that. And so I figured... You know, if it helps me, I'm sure it'll help other people. Because, I mean, we all, you know, find something to, like, pick pick at about ourselves. So, yeah, that's how I wrote this song. What an awesome message. Um, and so what? Like, when it gets the worst. <laughs> when you're picking yourself apart. So, all right. Well, go ahead. Just right, I hear my teeth, my voice when I'm up inside. 
and every with the music and and then you play it singer songwriters are like it's like you know quadruple threats <laughs> and now i guess you have more time to create new songs yeah <laughs> i'm not <laughs> about this whole quarantine yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much for that. Beautiful, beautiful. It was worth yeah, the wait. <laughs> so much fun. And it's oh. great to meet all the musicians. So everybody stay safe out there. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. And I hope to see you in person very soon. Me too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Take care. All right. Well, we are going to end the show with um, another artist of ours. Her name is Leticia Herrera. And uh, Leticia immigrated to the US with her only child and faced a number of obstacles that blocked her career as an artist. It wasn't until the passing of one of her closest friends that she immersed herself in painting again, finding a renewed sense of joy and inspiration. She has now been painting for over 25 years and works at her studio in North Texas and is also on the board uh, of directors for the Visual Arts Guild of Frisco. Leticia believes that the arts brings joy to our souls and takes us places that we never thought existed. She believes that art is a universal language and through art, we get to experience the most amazing feelings of love, hope, passion, kindness, awareness, humanity, and vulnerability. Leticia says she communicates best through her art. Um, so Leticia, thank you so much for being here and closing our show for us <laughs> thank you tammy thank you um, for so um, of course of course so um i think it's really cool that for an open mic like i said we can have an artist on the show because we typically for an open mic you know you don't get to have an artist but now we get to come inside your studio and see how your environment is and what you do and so um just tell us a little bit more about what's behind you and maybe we can get a peek at your studio and um, sure. a piece that really speaks to you about this time. Right. Well, um, thank you for having me and um, I'm really honored. Uh, right now we are at, at my studio and uh, the work that you're looking at it right now in my back is part of my series called Walkers. I've been working on that series for over a little bit of over a year and and the reason I have been so into it is because I believe it has a very strong message. Um, my walkers, which is my art right now, represent humans, human search for joy. Uh, it, they represent the search for joy that uh, through a common purpose. You know, they uh, so the message is always looking for that uh, message of love and hope and uh, peace and faith and right now at this moment i think that's something very strong we all need that hope we all need to walk together and be together uh through this path and hope hoping to find you know a common purpose and this time is hopefully to just uh this light 
after yes. these, you know. Um, definitely. I, I love the Walker series that you do. It's so iconic. And every time you see it now, it's like, we know exactly who the artist is. <laughs> um, so can you give us a little close up of what those walkers look like and how yes. you have created them? Yes. So I'm going to get my, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to walk you a little bit towards, um, towards here. Uh, right now, uh, I'm going to get you through this painting. It's called Travel, Travelers of a Beautiful Mind. Mm. And um, there, if you look closer, from far away, they look like humans, right? But when you get closer to the painting, you realize that they're uh, impactos. I'm trying to... Uh, um, yeah, you passed us that uh, really, really the detail of the painting. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Now, now you can face it towards the painting. I think. Oh well. Actually, it's still probably facing you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to do it. I thought I knew. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mm, I'm so sorry. No. No. Maybe no. if I do it, if I do it this way, it's better. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Uh huh. So if I get closer, they're almost three dimensional. Yep. See. How yeah. They get very three dimensional. Most of my work is like that. Mm. Even though lately I've been uh, working with uh, with watercolors, and even though they are flat and they don't have that sense of uh, three dimensionally, they're still walking through a line. All my paintings, they all are together, hoping that you know they get to that common purpose mm -hmm. of joy. So that's a little bit of my studio of my work. I love uh, that. Well, and I love yeah. that message, Leticia, just that they're all traveling. You know, that's really what's happening right now is all of us are uh, all together in the, in the whole world. <laughs> We're all co combating this together. So right. Totally makes sense. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that uh, uh, the more uh, it's like that message is so strong right now. And before and after, I mean, I think that Right now, we all as artists have a little bit of, res I feel like a little bit of res uh, responsibility to send through my art, uh, through my work, uh, you know, that message. Because yes. when I received a message, it makes me feel so good. When I see someone singing, like I just watch everybody singing and dancing and singing those, uh, giving those messages of love and hope. And it's just so encouraging and so hopeful and so grateful and it, 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 it makes us feel that uh, such a special, you know, special feeling. So I want to give that to the world too, you know, as, as an right. artist. Yeah, look at that. I love that uh, you have your whole wall dedicated to your art. That's so awesome. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> I love it. Well, I wish it would be empty. <laughs> I wish I it would be know. empty, but it's okay. It's okay. So it's a little bit of my studio. And there, that's, uh, again, the, this heart and I still have my walkers here. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, tell me, um, um, flip the camera. For, yes. And tell us about the Visual Arts Field, of, um, your initiative about the Open Hearts campaign. Um, yes. Um, this initiative started with uh, the president of the Visual Arts Guild of Free School, Lena Rincon and me talking on the phone and we really wanted to add to that initiative uh, of everybody putting hearts on their windows or in the in in the streets, and we thought that what can we do to invite uh, the artists and and everybody else? You don't have to be an artist to join that message of love and hope in these moments of crisis. So we thought about uh, inviting our artists to paint a, a, a heart and inviting the community and inviting kids and everybody that want to draw a, a heart and add up to that initiative. So hopefully we can all still be sending that message. Yeah. So this is my painting of that of that initiative. And so so far, we've been having a, a good response. We're hoping to have more. So I mean, by everybody that is watching right now, hopefully they can they can join just just uh, join the, the campaign. That's right. So basically draw, paint a heart and then put it out on your front porch or on your window so that people can, um, you know, just be encouraged. And that we're all working on this together. Uh, it's a trying time. 
but the arts can definitely bring us together. So thank you for that message, Leticia. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> thank I'm you for you a having big, me. Huh? Big virtual hug. Very <laughs> virtual. I'm not used but, to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know definitely not used to it and i uh just want to thank all of our performers and artists tonight for joining us on this first virtual open mic i hope you all um enjoyed it i think it's incredible to see the diversity of talent that we have in our community and how it speaks to us um in in all of the different ways so uh, let's give a big cheer from all your homes watching for all of our performers and artists. Uh, remember that on our website at friscoarts.org, if you are an individual artist or an arts organization that is needing some help, um, we have some resources on our website under a resources tab. So just click there and you'll find um, some links and links to lists, other lists that are less massive, especially Americans for the Arts. Um, and, you know, a big Happy Arts Advocacy Day to all of you, the, the entire creative community. You know, we really um, could not function as whole human beings without communicating with each other and through the arts, because that's really, it's just one of the most beautiful forms of communication. And we don't even have to speak the lang same language, but we can understand it, it's innate. So, um, so thanks for being on that journey with us tonight. Uh, thanks to Anthony Barocas for all the cool little you know, um, titles that came across the screen and uh, he makes it, there he is, yay, <laughs> the man behind the curtain. <laughs> um, contact him at stream4.us. Just Google it, you'll find Anthony Barocas um, and, and he can help you do something like this for, for your organization. So um, that's it. If you like this, comment and say that you want another one and we'll work on another one. So uh, till next time, stay safe, wash those hands, stay home, and keep creating. Thank you so much, everybody. Good night. <laughs>